Hey, this is going to be a quick video showing what alternatives are out there compared to DS925 Plus. As you know, Synology just released their new 25 series model and it has lost quite a few of the features. So one of the things is 10 gigabit uh, connection is lost. There is no video transcoding. There is no multimedia chip inside. Every time they release a new refresh model, there's something taken away. For so long, this full bay type of model been their main flagship model and they state themselves they have 1 million units running in the world. Not just uh, DS923 but other plus series full bays from Synology. But since they removed 10 gigabit connection, multimedia chip and other things, now this NAS cannot be used for things like um, surveillance, for video editing and a few other things. So I'm going to go through every single scenario, why people use this and what is the best alternative for this use case. So if you need a replacement for backing things up, so that would include synchronizing your folder like Dropbox alternative. If you need to back up your cloud services like Microsoft Office or Google Office, the best alternative you can have today is from QNAP TS464. This is a similar performance model, but it supports all hard drives that you can think of, as long as they are SATA-based hard drives. So if you're looking for an alternative, TS464 is going to be a good option. You can upgrade it with 10 gigabit card if you wanted faster network speeds, and it will allow you to back up your computers, your cloud, and even replace your Dropbox uh, drive for simple and reliable file storage. You can also use Unify UNAS Pro. This is a rack mount, but it costs cheaper than the four bay unit from Synology. And Unify is a trusted brand. Their software is very polished and they do care about security and performance. So if there is a brand out there that could compete with Synology software, Unify is gonna be the one. If you're using your NAS for multimedia and you need replacement, TS-464 is again a good alternative. It comes with a transcoding chip built in, so you can watch your movies at home as well as remotely. Alternatively, you can look at the QNAP 74 series. This model has more powerful CPU, so you can transcode even 4K videos. And it also has a PCIe slot, which will allow you to install dedicated graphics card if you want multiple 4K transcoding streams happening at the same time. Otherwise, you can go for a slightly cheaper unit, which is TS473A, which is Ryzen-based uh, model. And it also comes with PCIe slot, so you can install your dedicated graphics card, which is perfect for your Plex server or any other type of multimedia server. Other brands also offer some good solutions for multimedia, and that will be Locker Store 4 Gen 2 from Asus Store. There are also Terramaster options and so many other brands out there. But if you're looking for the best alternative, 74 series is the best option out there simply because of PCIe slot that allows this GPU card upgrade. If you're using your NAS for CCTV for surveillance, then again, the best option will be QNAP 464. QNAP has its own free surveillance software, so you don't need to think about buying a third party software for doing this. And again, if you have 4K cameras and if you want to access and transcode those uh, CCTV footage remotely, you can go for 74 or 73A series with a graphics card installed. If you're using your NAS for video editing, you will need at least 500 megabytes second bandwidth. That would be your 5 gigabit connection or preferably 10 gigabit connection. So TS-464 with two 2.5 gigabit ports could be used for single editor. Otherwise you can install 10 gigabit card and you will have your 10 gig connection. With multiple editors, you will need to look at 74 or 73A series. Again, you can install 10 gigabit or multi 10 gig card, and then you can have multiple 4K editors working on these units. And if you want something even more serious, you can look at their 90FX series model, which has 10 gigabit port, or even their 1288X series models. If you're using your NAS for virtual machines, then the closest replacement could be 73AX series. It comes with the same CPU that DS925 has. But alongside with hard drive base, you also get these SSD U.2 standard really fast SSDs, NVMe type of SSDs, that you can use for virtual machines. Otherwise, you can also look at 74 series again. They have really fast CPUs. They're really good for virtual machines. 
And again, you can have 73A series if you want to do a pass through to a graphics card. The other alternative for virtual machines is 1290FX series. It comes with AMD EPIC 16 core CPU, perfect for virtual machines. And also you can go for 88X series that comes with a Xeon CPU. The other alternative out there is from Ugreen, their DXP series come with different kinds of CPUs. All of them are good for virtual machines. Synology only offers USB 3, which is five gigabit connection. Their internal NVMEs are capped to 500 megabyte a second. And there are so many other bottlenecks with Synology NAS. If you choose a modern NAS with some up-to-date technology, you'll get USB ports that are 10 gigabit or even 40 gigabit uh, speed if you go for new Ugreen series. You get faster NVMe connections, faster LAN speed like 10 gigabit, 25 gigabit. All of this will allow you to back up to the NAS or from the NAS much, much faster compared to Synology NAS. So this was just a quick video going through a few options that could serve as an alternative to DS925. All of us have different purpose for the NAS. Some of us need it for multimedia, some of us need for virtual machines or video editing. So this was a quick summary of what is the best NAS for each of these categories. If you want more videos like this, you can let me know and uh, you can follow the channel and you'll get notification when one of those videos go live. Thank you for watching and see you next time.